Today we will be learning how to play the game Zero Rummy. This is a game where students play in groups of two to four people by playing sets of cards that add to zero, trying to get rid of all the cards in their hand. For this game, the only materials needed will be a deck of cards with both jokers removed. When playing this game, all cards are their face value. Aces are one, jacks are 11, queens are 12, and kings are 13. When playing, it is important to remember that red cards represent negative numbers and the black cards represent positive numbers. An example is shown so that you can see that a black 8 is a positive 8, a red 10 is a negative 10, and a black 3 is a positive 3. To set up the game, one person will deal 7 cards to each player. The rest of the deck will be placed in the middle, and the top card of this pile will be flipped over to create a new pile called the discard pile. Each player is allowed to look at their seven cards. To start your turn, pick up one card and add it to your hand. You will have two options with this. You can either pick a card from the deck so you don't know what you'll get, or you can pick a card from the top of the discard pile. I'll choose the deck because I like surprises. Once you've started your turn by picking up a card, you will now try to make a zero set with the cards in your hand. A zero set is two or more cards whose sum is zero. For example, a negative 5, a positive 2, and a positive 3 make a zero set. This is because negative 5 plus 2 plus 3 equals zero. On your turn, you may only play one zero set and cannot build on zero sets you laid down in previous turns. For example, in this hand, I will be laying down the zero set of negative 11 and 11. You also cannot have a zero set that has a smaller zero set within it. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let's say you try to play this zero set during your turn. This does not work because you can find another zero set within it. This would be the negative three and the positive three. Thus, you cannot play this entire set during your turn, but instead you can play the smaller zero set within it. Once you've played one zero set during your turn, to end your turn, you will choose one card in your hand and place it at the top of the discard pile. The game will end when a player gets rid of all the cards in their hand by either A, laying down the rest of their cards as a zero set, or B, by discarding the only card left in their hand. Once the game is over, each player will total their points. Your points will be determined by the amount of cards in each of your zero sets. A zero set that has two cards in it will be worth two points. A zero set with three cards in it will be worth four points. And a set with four or more cards in it will be worth eight points. Once you have totaled up all your points from your sets, you will have to subtract from the total the number of cards in your hand. Each card in your hand is worth one point. For example, I have three cards left in my hands, which is minus three points. I have a set of three, which is four points, and a set of two, which is two points. That gives me a total of six points, minus the three points in my hand, to give me a grand total of three points for the round. There is one special move that can be made during your turn as well. Let's say that someone had placed an ace in the discard pile a few turns ago, and you really wanted that card. You may take that ace, but taking that ace means you have to do two things. First, you have to take all the cards that rest on top of the ace and put them in your hand. Second, is you have to use the ace in this turn to create a zero set. As a quick recap, you start the game with seven cards in your hand. At the beginning of your turn, you pick up a card from either the discard pile or the deck. Then you get to create one zero set. Once you've created your zero set, you take one card and discard it. You keep playing until somebody in the game has gotten rid of all cards in their hand. And that's how you play Zero Rummy. Thanks for listening.